Welcome to All Life Mass TV. My name remains Jix Anemo, and today we have a challenge on radical equation. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop answer video, wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. Now the question reads: x minus five root x minus six equal to zero what there will be the possible value or values of x now let's put down our question so we have here your x minus five root x minus six equal to zero very easy now i'm going to use two methods for solving this challenge okay either of the method will give us the same result so let's take first method so we we'll have your first method okay so if we take the first method we're going to solve this radical equation directly without substituting or without bringing any other alphabet into the system so from here i want to introduce this same radical to this x here now so if i introduce this radical to this then we can express this as x which is the square root r square of x minus 5 root x minus 6 equal to 0. now this has not changed anything because this square can cancel this square root sign so if we use this to cancel this, it's going to give us our x here so this has not really changed the system okay now that we have this you discover that here we are having the highest value of this equation to be 2 automatically this is a quadratic equation so how do we solve this now let's solve this using the factorization method so let's say solve solve using factorization method factorization method okay so if we solve this using the factorization method how do we go about this very easy let's put down our question again which is x root r to the power of 2 minus 5 root x minus 6 equal to 0 we bring this root x r square use it to multiply this minus 6 so we're going to have this to be your minus 6 root x r squared okay so we use this two to multiply to give us this what we do here now is simple we look for um, two numbers that we will add together we give us minus 5 root x and multiply it together to give us minus six okay so if we go by that analogy they automatically will go to have these two numbers to be the x root r to the power of two okay then minus six then root x then blocks root x then minus 6 equal to 0. Now, if you look at this carefully, minus 6 root x plus root x will give us minus 5 root x. And so, with this, we can put dx and dx in bracket, put dx and dx in bracket. So, from here, what is common to both sides here? We have root x. So, if we bring out root x, from here then we are left with here another root x minus six close bracket on this other side what we have come here is just one so we have plus one bracket root x minus six close bracket or equal to zero very easy now let's go ahead now if you look at this you discover that what we have in the first bracket is same what we have in the second bracket since they are the same 
we take this term and this term that is outside and take one of these so this now implies that root x flux one close bracket the bracket open root x minus six close bracket or equal to zero now at this point we use what we call the zero product um rule and so we equate the whole of this to zero we equate this to zero and so this will now give us root x plus one equal to zero or root x minus six equal to zero so automatically we're going to have this to be root x equal to minus one or root x equal to positive six we are looking for x so what do we do to get x we take the square of both sides so let's square both sides square this and the same time square this we do same thing here square this and also square this so this we go with this we are left with x the square of minus one will give us positive one that is minus one times minus one there on this other side we're going to have x is equal to yeah we're going to have 36. now if we look at this carefully let's try to substitute our x equal to 1 and x equal to um, 36 into the initial equation our x minus 5 root x minus 6 so let's put it into our uh, equation and see if it will give us so let's check check first one case one case one we said x equal to one and so our question is x minus five root x minus six equal to zero and so dx we turn give us here um one minus five root one minus six equal to zero so we have one minus root one will give us one so we have this to be five minus six equal to zero and every tail we turn give us one minus yeah we have 11 equal to zero so minus 10 equal to zero so this is not true okay so minus 10 is not equal to zero so this is not true automatically this is extraneous this is extra in other words dx is rejected so let's check for case 2 case 2 case 2 where we have x equal to 36 we put down our normal equation the equation x x minus 5 root x then um, minus 6 okay very easy okay equal to 0 so wherever we see s we put in 36 so we're going to have this to be your 36 minus 5 root 36 then minus 6 equal to 0. Root 36 will give us 6. So we have this to be 36 minus 5 into 6 minus 6 equal to 0. So this will turn give us 36 minus 30 minus 6 equal to 0. So we have 36 minus 30 minus 6 will give us minus 36. Everything equal to 0. So we have plus 36 minus 36 will give us 0. And so the second solution, x equals to 6 is the accepted, uh, equal to 36 place, is the accepted, uh, accepted value for Dick's radical equation. Now let's look at second method to this uh, challenge and check or see the one that is better so we have here second method second method we put down our question which is x minus 5 root x minus 6 equal to 0 now in survey dx straightforward i'm going to bring in another alphabet into the system let let u equal to root x so if u is equals to root x then we are going to have our u squared equal to x because if we take the square of both sides 
this radical will leave and we have this side to be square so wherever we see x we put u square there and wherever we see root x we put u there so our equation winner implies u square which is this x here minus 5u because we have a radical here minus 6 equal to 0 very easy all right let's continue now this is a quadratic equation again we solve this using factorization method so we look for um, two factors of root 6 that were added together will give us minus 5u and when multiplied together will give us minus 6 and the two of the automatically will give us your uh, minus 6 and plus 1 so this expression will now become u squared there minus 6u plus u minus 6 equal to 0 so we can put this in bracket put this and this in bracket what is common to this we have just u so we factor out u we are left with u minus 6 close bracket plus what is common here is 1 bracket u minus 6 close bracket or equal to 0 now the terms we have in the bracket are the same again so we take these two that are outside and take one of the bracket so we have here u plus one close bracket bracket u minus six equal to zero again we suck up to the uh, zero product rule so from here we're going to have our u plus one equal to zero or u minus six equal to zero therefore we have our u equal to your minus one or u equal to positive six but recall in the initial equation we don't have u so we now go back to where we said let u equal to root x so we now say recall that we said u equal to root x so we take case one case one when u is equal to minus 1. So we're going to have this to be minus 1 equal to root x. We can square both sides. So if we take the square of both sides, take the square of both sides. This, this will leave. So we now have our x equal to positive 1. This is the first root. And we go again, case 2 is 2 where we have our u equal to 6 so when i put that into our equation we're going to have here 6 equal to the square root of x again let's square both sides let's square this other side too so if we do that then we're going to have here 36 equal to x why because this we go with x so when i have therefore our x is equal to 36 this is the second root and from our check from the first method where we check this root is going to give us a strenuous okay this root is a strenuous okay so it's not satisfy our equation and so the only accepted one is this very root here which is and so to this end 36 is the true solution or the only rule that satisfy this radical equation okay so if you have learned something good from this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any question in the process of solving also drop it in the comment section below okay i and my team we are good at replying to your comments okay remember this is online max tv jakes loves you so much and all of us at online max tv love you so much thanks for always be there bye for now.